there's a lot of talk about what the punishment should be. If teams are found, players are found to not follow protocols closely, games could be forfeited. If games are forfeited, then the players on the other teams don't wind up getting their game checks either. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of discussion, a lot of anger. Jalen, I'm curious, what is your perspective on what should be done if teams are found, players are found not to be following the protocols? And see, this is the, I guess, unique value of team sports because not only are you relying on the 53 guys in your locker room as well as your coaching staff and your support staff, but you also rely on your NFL brothers to make quality decisions. But here's the problem, Greeny. They're not in a bubble. This is going to continue to happen. I love football as much as anybody else, Ryan and Diana, but I just cannot imagine that there's going to be 16 football games played this year. It just... It, it, as, long, as long as we're continuing to see the spike in numbers throughout our country and cities opening and closing and state rules are continuing to change and continue to, um, continue to waver, I just don't see it taking place. There are going to be times where one team tests and doesn't test, but the guys that are undisciplined, kind of like Lou Will in the NBA or kind of like the guy the Seattle Seahawks cut that was trying to sneak his girlfriend in or whatever, and she was dressed mm -hmm. up like a guy. Like, those people <laughs> should lose their check. Like, for real, Ryan? Like, those dudes, they should yeah. lose their check. I like, I, no, no conversation, no I went to college with him, or none of that. Because you're putting our health at risk, and plus you costing me bread, and I can't play the game I love when I'm willing to sacrifice? Oh, man. Like, like, you want to put hands on those dudes, really, but other than that, they should lose their check. That is the reaction I was waiting to hear if you had. Ryan Clark, what's yours? Listen, I, I've been a part of this conversation since the beginning. At the beginning, when the NFL put its schedule out, I thought they made a mistake. I said it on SportsCenter that I believe they should have shortened the season. They should have given themselves a little leeway. They should have tried to change travel. 2000. And in 20 was the year that they could do things a little bit differently just to get a season. When you look at the MLS, when you look at the NBA, when you look at Major League Baseball, everyone else made these concessions and changed up the things that they normally do, except for the NFL. The NFL were like, well, we'll keep fans out until we can have them. And so I thought that was a mistake. And now when you set, the, set up this schedule this way, you back yourself up against the wall because you're expecting or asking these players to live a life in a way that almost makes them hermits in order to not contract COVID-19, uh, in order to not spread COVID-19. And so now we find ourselves here. And a week ago, I believe it was, I said, I believe that teams should forfeit. But then on the other side of that, as being a player who was part of the PA, you understand collectively bargaining things say that now e neither team will get paid. So I'm with Jalen. If you just uh, test positive for COVID. I don't think you should have to forfeit a check. I don't think you should have to forfeit a game. But when you are found negligent, when you are found for breaking p protocols, the fact that, the, to me, the Tennessee Titans even talked to their executives to figure out how they could still get together, to me, that's a breach of protocol. That shouldn't be a conversation. The executives of the Tennessee Titans shouldn't be trying to find loopholes in the CBA agreement to say, okay, well, this is how you can practice, but you can't go into a gym. You got to be outside. No, stay your tail in your house. Be safe. Allow yourself to make sure, put yourself in a position where you won't test positive, where you can't contract the illness, and now you can go out and play the Buffalo Bills. You've already hurt the Pittsburgh Steelers in their season by eliminating their bye week, making them face their rival, their division rival, in a physical game the next week after they're on a bye. But you continue to do stupid things. And if you continue to get stupid things, you should face stupid penalties. This is serious. This is our lives. This is their yeah. lives. And they need to take things more seriously. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.